Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another my restaurant video So as i'm sure many of you know my most popular my restaurant video on the channel right now is the one for my money making method And in that video I obviously went ahead and told you guys that if you went and found any better layouts I would obviously go ahead and cover it on the channel because at the end of the day We are all going after the same exact thing and that is to be able to make the most amount of money on this game So last night in my discord I went ahead and got contacted by one of you guys with an image that is showcasing a brand new layout that apparently was made by two individuals within the community of big games so right off the start i want to give a huge shout out to the two individuals that took part in this i did try and go ahead and get contact with these people but they unfortunately didn't really reply to me chances are they were offline at the time because i was doing testing the entire night last night but again i do want to give a huge shout out to critty one that's c-r-i-t-i-1 and then the second person is i believe it's pronounced yaho yaha the spelling for it is y-h-o-y-h-a so again huge shout out to you guys if for some reason you are watching this video please comment down below and i will definitely pin your comment i really do appreciate it this is an amazing layout and it truly does work incredibly but anyways with all of that being said before we get into the video like we always do here i'm going to give a shout out to everybody that is within the server right now we have Lil dab kiki amazer daniel the gamer and then in the background we have hype undead which is for some reason in game operation nitro i never really understood that why is your name undead on discord anyways and then on the right hand side we have have super soccer unfortunately our creeper is not here today because it looks like mr sunny is sleeping right now but anyways let's go ahead and enter into my restaurant here really quick now as you can see this is the entire layout right here yes it is a little bit crowded and it is a little messy but it does make a lot of money per hour at one point last night while i was doing my testing i peaked almost 950k in one hour using this setup of course it does change every single time because you're not going to be getting celebrities at the same rate sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll get two celebrities to come in in one hour and other times it'll be unfortunate and you just won't get any but really the main reason why i decided to make a video on this layout is because one of the biggest flaws of my very first video was the fact that it was more catered to people that already had money because the method that you were using was obviously the gumballs therefore you needed money to invest in order to make your money back this layout can actually be done with any of the different furnitures including starter furniture and the most incredible part about it is that you only need one floor it probably all sounds really confusing right now but i am going to go ahead and destroy the entire restaurant and i will rebuild it so that, that way you guys can get a step-by-step -step explanation on how it all works and how you can build it yourself now in the original design that two individuals that made this layout the entire room is filled with tables including all the way back here but i went ahead and made a little bit of a change where i removed two individual tables on the side and i decided to add in 12 gumball machines this honestly has been working out great for me i've been seeing a little bit of improvement and realistically speaking none of these tables will ever become completely full so removing two of them is is not really going to make a difference now another change that i went ahead and made to their design is if you come over here you can actually go ahead and still access your teleporter so if we head to my second floor you'll notice that i now have 66 jewelry cases up here in my previous video you guys will know that i mentioned about the jewelry cases and not understanding exactly how the percentages work and all of that different stuff that was going on but as you can see from the image that i'm putting in the background right now it's pretty much been 100 percent confirmed by david the developer of this game well one of the developers that the most efficient way to do this is indeed by having 66 jewelry cases we are touching hands tee hee lol uh, uh, uh. so let's go ahead now to the first floor i'm gonna go ahead and blacklist everybody so that we can go completely destroy the first floor and rebuild it all over again so you guys can understand how to do this so for starters let me go ahead and close down the restaurant so all of the oh my that is so sad no come back guys now although it did look like an absolute mess it's actually extremely simple to create this and again i want to make this very clear you are only going to be using your first and second floor so yes it is extremely important that you buy every single floor on top because it does increase the rate at which customers flow in but you will not be using any of the floors above floor two you can obviously go ahead and design them however you want but just don't put any seats or any tables in any floors above floor one now ideally what you want to use as tables on the first floor is obviously tiki tables if you can't afford them then any other tables will work i just really like how the tiki tables look so to start things off on the top left hand side here your door is going to be right behind you on the top left hand side go ahead and leave one gap and then make one straight line of your tables going down just like how i did right there once you've gone ahead and done that leave a two space gap after that 
obviously for the chairs of these tables and for the chairs of these table and do another straight line going all the way down just like how i've done right there again this is completely up to you i did leave a gap right here at the end because i'm going to fill this corner up with gumball machines but if you would like to and you don't want to have the gumball machines just go ahead and place a table right there and you can also add chairs to the side now once you've done this side go to the opposite side do the same exact thing leave one gap and make a straight line going down once you've done all of that you should have something that looks roughly like this now the next place that you're going to want to put a table is right in the center on the back end of your restaurant go ahead and leave one gap away from the window where hype is standing waving at me just like this right under that leave another double gap and place another table now come to the front entrance and here you're going to want to leave double gaps as well so one two and then place your table right here so at the end it should be looking something like this now for the center area that you have right here this is going to be extremely simple go ahead and grab any of your stoves it doesn't really matter obviously i'm using luxury stoves obviously whatever you can afford it is going to be affecting how much money you make because this is going to determine how fast the cooks make different recipes and stuff like that so you definitely want to keep that in mind but from the table that is up here just go ahead and leave one gap and place down your first stove right next to that you're going to want to put another stove and then underneath that a third stove now for the fourth and final stove you're going to want to put this right across very similar to what i have right here this should be your current setup right now now for your dishwashers ideally you want to have three of them so the way that you want to do it is kind of one here one here and then another one in the area that i'm standing right now because of the fact that i am using luxury dishwashers i'm not going to use three of them i'm only going to use two but for the empty space what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a golden tip jar this on top of the gumball machines is going to increase my profit by just a tiny margin but it definitely does make all the difference now in the empty area that peter is standing in you're going to want to go ahead and grab an order stand and place it right there at this point this is what you should have so far now actually before i forget before you put this table right here you're going to want to put down your gumball machines so just go ahead and grab these line them up like this three right there and then three in front of it you're going to have to move the table because if not it won't let you put down the front gumball machine once you've done that just go ahead and quickly drop your table again and you should be good to go obviously go ahead and do the same exact thing on the other side again this is if you are deciding to go with the gumball method if you just want to put a table then ignore this step now in my case i do have three royal tables so what i'm going to do is i'm going to replace these three tables in the center with royal tables just like how i've done right there now before you go ahead and start placing down your chairs my recommendation is if you are going to do jewelry cases go ahead and set up all of them up here in your second floor again ideally you want to have 66 jewelry cases up here to get the most amount but it really doesn't matter you know whatever you can afford just go ahead and place them up on the top now before we go ahead and end this entire design off let's talk really quickly about the front door now, as many of you know a lot of us do afk farm which i have been getting a lot of questions on how exactly to do this with an afk auto clicker on top of that so many of you have been asking me in the comments carbon where can i find an auto presser again i don't actually know if that's the name of them that's kind of just the name that i gave the program and for that i have a simple answer if you do have an auto clicker i'm going to show you exactly how you can do this with an auto clicker and you don't have to download any other program there is a very cool way to bypass this so i will show you that once we go ahead and open up the restaurant now again like i said let's talk really quickly about the front door so while you're here playing and you're not afk and stuff like that what you can do is go ahead and place two gumball machines right at the front door again this is going to allow people to walk in and out of your restaurant so ideally you don't want to have gumball machines there when you are going afk because of the simple fact that people will push you around and that's obviously going to affect the whole entire pressing the e at the front door so the simple solution to this is obviously go ahead and remove the gumball machine and place your display cabinet so that way no one is able to come in now i saw so many of you asking me well carbon that doesn't make any sense because there is a blacklist feature i'm fully aware that there's a blacklist feature but it's extremely difficult for you to blacklist people in a public server when you're not at your computer people constantly come in and out of public servers so you obviously won't be able to blacklist the new people that come in now once you have this exact setup that we have going right now go ahead and place down all of your chairs which obviously if you do have royal chairs go ahead and place them on the royal tables and then for the rest just place your chair of choice it doesn't really matter what it is this is pretty straightforward i don't actually think i need to show you guys me placing down every single chair but once you've gone ahead and done that it should look a little something like this at this point it's literally just as simple as going ahead and opening up your restaurant and every single customer will start swarming in now i did tell you guys that i was going to show you how to afk farm this it is extremely simple all you're going to want to go ahead and do is angle your camera 
just like how I'm doing right here. Ideally, you want to have the camera completely horizontal from your character. And if you notice, the E will spawn in the same exact place every single time. I'm clicking right now. You can probably hear my mouse in the background and the E is coming out in the same spot. Just go ahead and turn on your auto clicker right here and you'll be good to go. The E that spawned on the left hand side was the actual plate to pick it up. So you can ignore that. But yeah, it's literally this simple. You just got to turn on an auto clicker right here and you're good to go. You don't need any extra program to be able to click on the E or anything like that. Just a simple auto clicker will get this done. But yeah, look at that. Literally in seconds, we now have the entire restaurant full of customers. Again, do not add any more tables or chairs in floor two or floor three or anything above that. I did go ahead and test all of that last night. And unfortunately, it does not provide any more money. As a matter of fact, it actually affects your income due to the fact that your waiters do have to travel an extra distance. This is honestly an amazing method for those of you that are just starting. And even for those of you that are already pro players, because if you do have a lot of royal tables and a lot of royal chairs, you can literally fill up this entire room and really capitalize as much as you can. I'm going to remove everybody's blacklist really quick so that they can make their way inside. I just really needed some space so that that way you guys can see how I was building everything. Now, it does get a little bit tricky when you're trying to get in and out of the restaurant. When you're trying to get out, you kind of have to just let yourself drop in between the two gumball machines, just like how I did right there. And then you can instantly walk out. And then to get back inside, you kind of have to turn your camera to the side and jump at the same time. And eventually you'll kind of glitch through and be able to come back in. Really quickly, before I end off the video, I want to go to the shop and actually purchase a couple more of these royal chairs because I have 9.2 mil. And I've actually been waiting this entire time till the moment that I started recording to be able to get these, which we should be able to purchase, I believe, six of them, right? Yeah, we just purchased six royal chairs. We're down to 228k now. Head back inside really quick here. And unfortunately, these two buddies over here, you guys got to get out, place down those two. And then let's come to this table over here and we should be able to fill this one up as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the entire thing. Again, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all types of different content. Keep sending me all of those layouts that you guys are using. Obviously, if you guys have found anything better than this layout, let me know and I will most definitely be making an update video. But anyways, that's going to go ahead and do it for today's video. Like always, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.